Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Mungades Oracle. Welcome to my channel and Happy New Year. This is the very first week of January. I am looking into what energies we can expect. And um, it is going from the 1st to the 7th of January. Now, as I split this deck, I've got the comic and the vow. And Spirit is showing me this is what we are working with this uh, week. So trying to take things lighter, finding the fun side of things. We are starting with the 1st of January, so you could be attending a party, a New Year's Eve party, and um, being very jolly and um, really starting the, the new year on a high note. And then we've got the vow. It's like um, freeing yourself from something that you outgrown could be a work contract could be a marriage could be any kind of love connection working through a karmic or an ancestral pattern so it's like a release feels heavy but you know your worth and you can uh, free yourself from that energy so um, the sun is shining but you could experience that darkness for a little while. And it also feels like um, fireworks in a reversed way, like the, the shadow, the dark is exploding into the light. So that's when you are bursting that bubble, which may have felt comfortable for a long time. You felt that was your comfort zone but you grew out of it and you are flying towards the light. Very interesting energy. So let's clarify. This reading doesn't have an extended. Uh, if I haven't said it yet, it could be your reading if you are sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. And um, this time, let's see what is showing up. And whether we start with work or love, we will see in a second. We've got the Emperor showing up straight away. Okay. We need more about this, a decision about an Emperor. <laughs> okay, so some of you are going to meet someone at this party well mercury goes retrograde on the 1st of january but still you could bump into your ex at the new year's party or in general anywhere or uh, you could be meeting someone new at this new year's party or in general and um, you are uh, unsure what to do Because this person is coming in with love and very attracted to you. I feel this could be a Mercury retrograde story. Someone from your past is trying to reconnect with you. But the interesting thing is you might feel for a second like, oh my God, what can I do? It does feel so nice. Have they changed? And then you realize that this person is keeping you imprisoned and you need to release yourself from this. So there is a possibility you meet someone new if you are single, but it's more like a Mercury retrograde vibe here. Someone from your past is coming into your life or sending you a New Year's message. Yeah, so we started off with love. Okay, if it is a work situation, you really are mastering things, making progress, um, signing contracts, doing your work, and you are amazing at it running your empire but you need to make a decision it's almost like between your heart and um, 
something that work requires you to do and the, the hard part is also regarding to work um, and I fear that There is a queen of swords and the queen of wands and there is communication in between. So if it's a work matter, you need to make a decision between your heart and your head. Your passion and logic. And it might be like there is a signed contract keeping you in your head and you are going to release yourself and go for what is close to your heart, what you are passionate about. Okay, let's find out what challenges are showing up this week. Well, that's quite a big challenge that your ex might show up. So what else we can see or look deeper? Too much feeling. Phoenix rising from her ashes. <laughs> Very interesting. Beauty is seeing through the eyes of your soul. That's amazing. So look at the numbers. We've got 51, 56, 15. 51 and 15 are mirrored and 56, 5 plus 6 adding up to 11. So we've got 5, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5 literally there. It's you moving through change, connecting with your heart. 5 plus 1, 1 plus 5, they are both 6 energies. Equal giving and receiving, making decisions from your heart. Change in how you make decisions. And aligning with your vortex, rising from your ashes, doing what is right for you. So too much feeling, you start off with, and then you are rebirthing yourself to the soul level. It is an upgrade. That is what I was referring to earlier, when you meet the emperor. Temporarily, they pull you... Uh, into the past like oh wow this is what I always wanted but then you wake up from that illusion and uh, or daydream and you see through the eyes of the soul you see them for who they are and know that in reality right now they are not their full potential so you are upgrading again and they are still not proceeding. So let's see more about this. The too much feeling. We've got the judgment with the two of cups. So this is a mutual love connection. But judgment is being served now. And it's almost like a test from the universe. How do you respond to your person? And you are actually responding from your intuition, from your soul. So you are passing this test. And then we've got the phoenix rising from her ashes, the moon and the king of swords. So yes, you got into your emotions, but you are not drowning in them. You are pulling yourself out uh, with your mind and reminding yourself that, yeah, I've been there before. I believe this person many times before. We are not making progress. I am not letting them do this again. And uh, the beauty is seen through the eyes of the soul. Three of swords. So however much it hurts, you are going to let them go. And uh, not engaging with them. Long term, maybe you have a beautiful New Year's party with them and even have the have a kiss, whatever. But after that, you know exactly where you are heading. Peace offering and uh, leaving them behind. 
knowing that your path, the two of you are not working together at this point. Now, at work, you are going to have to make a decision, two of pentacles, two of swords, two of cups. What is missing is the two of wands. So you have to show your true self. You have to be brave enough to, to show your vulnerability, step in the limelight and um, put your emotions aside to um, allow your um, con conscience to guide you and um, you possibly don't like breaking contracts, don't like leaving things unfinished, but you feel like you have to move on from this company, from this project, from this job, from this person, whatever applies to you, and you are going to leave on good terms, however difficult the situation is. So that is very beautiful. And at work, it means like... Uh, you now are able to um, push aside the struggles and uh, do follow what you truly want, not others' expectations to be fulfilled, your dreams. And that's what you are moving towards, truly connected with your soul. And moving towards abundance. Moon goddess is at the bottom. So 4 plus 4 is 8. And the universal number, the 2024 is an 8 universal year. So it's finding stability in work, in love, within yourself, within your soul. Okay, so let's look into your person a little bit here. They show up as the emperor. So what your person is thinking about you? Okay, so we've got the page of wands reversed, the six of swords sideways, and the four of cups standing. So your person feels rejected by you, and they are unable to move on from you. This is possibly why they really would like to talk to you, whether by a text or meeting up unexpectedly somewhere. They feel really hurt, very much in pain, because you move, moved on from them or broke up with them. What is their intention towards you, this emperor? Yeah, they want to reverse this situation. They cannot offer commitment, but they want to keep moving forward. Death card, nine of wands, uh, king of pentacles sideways, and the chariot standing. So they are absolutely trying to stop you moving from moving on, but they cannot offer you commitment. It's not reversed, but not standing either. So they haven't changed anything. Now, you could be dealing with an Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, a Cancer, another Scorpio. Yeah, this is what's showing up so far. Okay, so let's look at this King of Pentacles sideways. What's happening there? Yeah, they want a new beginning with you because they are always happy when you are together. They thought it's a happily ever after, but then they found themselves left out in the cold and, and you were gone and they don't like this. You could be dealing with an Aquarius and the Cancer again. And there is some clarity coming to them about wanting a reconciliation. You are really good together when things are good you are their wishes they are showing up as the emperor manifesting you but three of pentacles third party situation 
they still want to succeed with you. They want you for long term. They want to get what they feel they deserve. Well, that's one thing. What they think they deserve. The other one is what you feel you deserve. This vow is very significant in love. Because pastime vows are affecting our current lifetime. So the moment you can let go of this vow to invalidate this vow, to pull back your power, you will be free from this person. And uh, life will become much, much easier, full of light and become very, very sunny. So this person is kind of... Um, you know when you are on holiday and laying on the sun and someone is standing in front of you and blocking the sun from you? That's exactly what this person is doing. Because they are energetically not a match for you. But this vow is real. It exists. And they feel that this is for forever. And they can have power above you for forever. But you actually can release this vow. And that's what you need to do in order to become free. Very, very interesting. Okay, so is there anything else we can find out about your person? Will they change? Will they learn? No. Eight of Pentacles. They are possibly workaholics. King of Cups, they have love for you. King, Queen of Cups also shows up. They are going to express their love for you, but the Hierophant reverse. They don't want to learn. They don't want to grow. They don't want to commit. This is not the type of person you would like to deal with. They may change later on in life, but at this moment, at this point, they are not your match. Okay, so if it's at work, I'm going to look into, look into this a little bit more. Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, yeah. Go for what you truly love, you're passionate about, and you are going to be absolutely fine financially. Yeah, you have the strength to see this through, and uh, you may be sad to leave behind something that you loved, some people that you loved uh, working with, but they, there is an absolute prosperous new beginning for you. So you might live this... Uh, feel this um, change is like a, a proper tower moment, but it is going to allow you to have a personal abundance. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you are going to freelance. Maybe you are setting up your own business. Follow your soul's guidance. You are going in the right direction. This is what I have for you. Let me know how it resonates. Thank you so much for being here. I'm wishing you a wonderful, successful, beautiful new year with all your wishes coming true. And um, I can't wait to see you at another reading. Take care. Bye for now.